Hi everyone, this is Gigi, and today is Sunday, February 3rd, 2013. We are just back from our vacation, and um, we were back yesterday, and I just thought that I would go ahead and um, show you what I carried in my 17-inch rolling tote in Mocha Rouge from uh, Vera Bradley. I really like this um, a lot. Uh, it holds a lot, even though it's only 17 inches, and it is airline compliant as far as to fit under the seat in an overhead bin, as well as to carry a laptop, although I didn't carry a laptop this time I have with it before. So it, of course, has the telescoping handle up here at the top that comes out like that. And it has a little zipper closure here that you can zip it up and completely hide it. There is, on the front of it then, this is like the front, there's a big slide-in pocket here, and I just kept, I always carry um, any documentation that um, we might need, I carry um, with me. Um, and I did need it because I forgot to put in with my travel wallet, I forgot to put in my voucher for uh, our travel from the boat to the airplane. <laughs> so luckily I had it in here. I had just forgot to put it in my travel folder. So I keep papers in there. I've also got the magazine that I was reading on the airplane. Real simple. And then uh, some of the paperwork from, from the cruise itself. Um, that's really all that's in there is paperwork. I don't keep anything of any value in there because it's an open pocket on the airplane and I just don't want anything, you know, of any value whatsoever to fall out. So, okay, I've already got the bag unzipped. As you can see, there's two zippers over here on the side. There's a compartment here and then there's the larger compartment down here. So, let's start with the smaller, thinner compartment here. Now, this here... If you can read, it says checkpoint friendly, laptop only, no other items. Well, I didn't carry a laptop this time. I have before, and that's exactly what you do with this. You put your laptop in here, and then you can flip this down, and they can easily see it. Also, as you can see, this is heavily quilted, so that it keeps your laptop very safe and secure. But I didn't really need it this time. We just decided, the last time I took the laptop, I didn't really use it. And now that I have an iPad, um, I just took it this time. So inside this flap instead, I put my little Lizzie, which I carried whenever we went ashore. Um, it's just such a perfect, perfect bag uh, for um, uh, small excursions out. Um, it holds more than what you might think, but held everything that I needed. Uh, and then I carried a small beach bag as well. So I won't go over everything that's in there. If you guys want me to later, I can. Also down inside here, I have... Oh, it slipped out as I pulled it out. I'm like, wait a minute, where's my iPad and my Kindle? But when I pulled it, when I pulled it out of this pocket here, they slid out because I had went in and unzipped these. So this is what it's supposed to look like. Let me put these back in here. So this is how I carried them on the plane is I had my iPad on the bottom and then I had my Kindle and then um, in this little guy here I have all my cords that I need for those two devices. So I had all also a couple little cleaning cloths, uh, those little throwaway wipes. So that was really great. Everything was in one place. You know, um, I did take my Kindle out um, on the trip to the boat. Yeah, on the plane because we had a longer layover and I don't know I just wanted my Kindle with me and I carried the purse that I carried was a squared away and I had plenty of room in there for that so that was inside there <laughs> and because I have it unzipped everything is just falling out all over the place so that was everything in there now I don't think I kept anything down in this pocket no nothing in this pocket then there is also here, there's like a place for pens. I think when we originally went, I did have a couple pens in there, but I've since used them. But I didn't really, up oh, some sort of paperwork in there. Then there, and then this, 
snaps on here, so if you do, do have things in there, keep them in place. There's a, this pocket here that's behind those. goes all the way down. I can stick my arm all the way down in there. I feel a paper in there. Um, oh, i got to show you these. These are from the boat. Um, this, this trip, this cruise was one of our shorter cruises, but I think it, I haven't asked my husband, but I think it ranks number one with us because we, um, first of all, we had such an amazing room. Second of all, we got to meet the captain and not only did we get to meet the captain once, we got to meet the captain three times. <laughs> and right here, this is where we went to a, I don't know if it's going to, if it's going to focus for us or not, but we went to a VIP cocktail reception on Tuesday, January 29th, which just so happened to be my birthday. <laughs> so we went to the VIP uh, reception with the captain and the officers. It was amazing. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. We had a wonderful time. He was an absolutely delightful gentleman. And he was from Sweden. I loved listening to him talk. It was just fascinating. <clears throat> we also had dinner with him that night and then the following day we got a tour of the bridge with some other folks so okay anyway <laughs> going on this is the main compartment of the 17 inch rolling tote this is the deep side and then over here is the more shallow side and then up here i put things that i might have needed uh during the course of uh, flying on the plane uh, this is my uh, contact lens supplies um, these were like some aspirins and, oh, medicine like that, you know, that you might need. These were earplugs, which I wish I would have grabbed because we had a crying baby on the way going. <laughs> I just didn't take the time to pull them out. And then this is one of those little, um, brush, hair brushes. Um, there's a pocket here of just a little notebook in there and some business cards and our room key card. Now, over on the deep side, I have up here, this was my pills that um, I took with me that I needed to take during the week on the cruise. Oh, here's a little lip balm. I love the EO's lip balm. Wow, it even matches. I didn't plan on that necessarily, but it matches my mocha rouge, doesn't it? And then this is a little, um, I think it's called All Wrapped Up, that I put all my jewelry in when we travel. It just fits in there perfectly. If you've never seen one of these, these are the cutest little things for travel. I'll open this one up. It opens up like that. And then there are, get them to unroll here. Then you unroll, and there are these three compartments that you can put jewelry in. And then there's even a clear plastic one up here. I have some rings in. Holds, it holds quite a bit of jewelry, actually. Then... Up here I have all, most all of my cosmetics that I needed for the trip. This is a large cosmetic, of course, in Mocha Rouge to match. And then this, let's see, let's pull this one out. This is the medium cosmetic. In here I just kind of had like odds and ends type of things. Um, I had like my, um, these are the, what do you call it, the mask thing to, if you want to sleep on the plane, I didn't really use them. But I had like gum and nail, fol nail polish, you know, um, lip balm, just kind of random things in there. Then um, this thing here I absolutely love, and I take this on every trip that we go on, whether it be a short or a long trip. And this is an organizer. You untie it here. Of course, it has the handles, so you can pick it up and carry it. You untie it at the top, and then you roll it out. And in here, I put all of my things that I needed for, pretty pretty much needed for daily care. Um, down in here, I have, like, my shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, things like that, hairbrush. Up here, I have all my tooth things and some of my um, face creams. Uh, in here are some, just, you can see what type of things they are that I'm carrying. Uh... Up here, I have some more medicines. I have my husband's toothbrush. But this holds a lot. It has the thing here. I always hang it on the back back of the uh, bathroom door because there's almost always a hook on the bathroom door. And then that frees up the counter space. And this cruise, I was really glad of that. We didn't have a whole lot of counter space in the bathroom, although I did have an area to put on makeup. 
So that, oh, and yes, of course, I have to have my chocolates. <laughs> I have my chocolates in there. More paperwork from the cruise. Oh, and this is just a little room atomizer from, um, I think it's from Yankee Candle. Yeah, I didn't really use it. We had such a nice room that they had taken very good care of everything. But um, that's what I carry in this bag. And uh, it's good to be home. And I hope to get this video up soon. I don't know when. I've got a bunch of videos I want to do and a couple in the queue. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you all. Have a great day. This is Gigi.